Marisol's stepmother, uh, Lindsay Stevens, she um, researched, she got online and researched uh, Sovereign Healthcare um, and uh, it seemed like a good fit. We had had a real horrible episode with a, an emergency care situation about a year ago and we wanted to make sure that this was going to be like a lasting sort of situation and something that would teach her instead of just kind of you know kind of putting a band-aid on the problem before so when she gave me the information and they contacted contacted us right away so that, that actually was it was great but it was kind of scary for me because i had to say oh we got to react now because it was uh, an emergency situation when your your child is thinking about uh, harming herself so um i was the next couple of days we were here and um, it had a really good response as far as testimonials with other clients, so uh, we didn't hesitate. Since about a year ago, when she first was having um, suicidal ideation, um, it was, it's just something that you kind of don't think is going to happen to your child. You think they're going to be happy and healthy because, you know, you're happy with them and, and you believe that they're the way you are. Um, but she was just not herself. Um, she just, I guess in her own words, she said, Mom, I just, I, I can't get happy. It just seems like I'm, I just can't get happy. I'm just, you know, depressed. And, you know, I try and help her with things like, oh, honey, well, you know, don't be so down. And, you know, but I didn't really know how to remedy the situation. You know, I know how to get myself out of the doldrum, but she was just constantly there at this low spot. And um, you just have to understand when it's time for you to let go and let someone else help your child because you can't solve all their problems. You can't hover around them and protect them all their lives. I mean, she's 16. And I know it's a pivotal time for her to learn a lot of different things. Um, and I didn't realize she was going to learn as much as she has, which is, it's just incredible. But it's, uh, it was just time. She, she wanted to come here. And unlike many teens that do come here, she says, I'm ready. You know, I'm, I'm ready to feel better. I'm ready to feel happy. And uh, I mean, it just broke my heart because you know, you take it for granted that we have these emotions that just, you know, oh, I'm happy. Well, it, it took a lot for her to stay happy. And, you know, it's, it's kind of something that my family has struggled with. Um, I have relatives that are very much similar in behavioral uh, aspects, you know, some depression, some manic depression. It was kind of easy to understand that she would have those kinds of symptoms because it was just you know, it was almost just like a matter of family and, and genes, basically. But, um, you know, you know when you have to react. When it's your child and asking for help, you know when, when you have to react, and we did. There's really not a whole lot available that was very attractive. One of the things that Lindsay and I both talked about was the fact that they had more of a holistic, kind of a natural, naturopathic sort of feel to it. I'm not a big medicator, and we try and deal with things a lot more holistically, a lot more natural. I mean, that's kind of the way that we eat Mani Solid's very, very well. Um, but it was just the fact that, that you were gonna, Sovereign was gonna teach them, you know, coping skills, life skills, just how to deal with certain things. Because, you know, Mani Sol, you know, suffers from anxiety as well. And you don't really think about those things being coupled together, but it's they go hand in hand, you know, anxiety and depression. But it was uh, what attracted me was the fact that they were going to use different methodology to kind of attack uh, and help her deal with her problems. And I like that. I like the fact that it wasn't just something you were going to put a Band-Aid on and there you go, out the door. Um, it was something that they were going to get to the root of, and she's just... She's made so, so much progress. I'm so proud of her because she's just, she's so amazingly different. I mean, I already knew I had a fantastic daughter, but it's like she's so assertive and, and they've taught her such confidence. And, and it's all part of her dealing with her own happiness. And um, it's just something that she couldn't have gotten in any other facility. And uh, I'm so fortunate that, that she got it here. I have to admit it, when I saw the out, 
you know, just kind of walking around. I thought, this kind of looks like a YMCA. You know, but the place she was at before was actually looked nicer on the outside, and it just was like a nursing home on the inside. I mean, it was very sterile. Um, all the, the shades seemed to be drawn, so all the rooms were dark. <laughs> it just seemed like these kids were coming out of these caves. And very shiny floors, but it was very quiet. There was no life. It didn't, it didn't feel to me like there was any life in that facility. And later I find out that they really, they really didn't help her at all. And she only basically clung to one figure that, that seemed to give her kind of a motherly support. But here, right away, man, I was attacked by the staff. You know, it was like, um, not attacked. I, I say that in jest, but um, I met staff member after staff member and one nice person here, one male nurse that was so tall and nice. And then this other person over here was like, this is what I'm gonna be doing with Marisol. And just everyone was so friendly. And um, they made me feel like she was gonna be okay. Like, okay, I can let her go. Cause that was a real thing for me. I mean, even though my daughter is 16, I didn't want to just leave her in the hands of, you know, yo-yos that were going to make her life worse. But the yo-yos ended up being a really competent staff that, you know, she she thinks highly of, you know, quite a few that have worked with her. She's just, um, I can tell that they've made a difference, you know, in, in the connection that they have. You know, Malachi is one of them. I knew she was she was going to connect with her because when I met her, I thought, I dig this this chick, you know, she's, she's cool and, and I know Molly's going to like her. You know, just because she's, she kind of speaks the lingo, I think she connects very well. And Dr. Douglas, oh my gosh, <laughs> I can't say enough good things about her. Right away she just made us feel like she's in very capable hands. My house, we had uh, me and my life partner, John, you know, her stepfather figure. And then uh, Kurt and his wife, Lindsay's stepmother, um, who I'm very close with. We had them in our own home, so it was not, it, it would have been nice to see what the reaction was, and we didn't really have any, you know, any aversion to not doing it together. We just were so busy with our, you know, work lives and whatnot, we'd end up being separated. But it would have been nice to see what the reactions were when we had session with Dr. Douglas and Monty Soul. But we just, I think we just seemed like we were all on point. We would kind of talk about the sessions before and after, just to kind of, you know, well, what'd you think, you know, how'd she sound? Um, and talk about anything that, that we thought we needed to kind of take care of, like joining a gym and finding some things that, that she could be taking part of uh, when she got out. Um, really taking into heart and consideration what she needed. So we were all on board and that's, I can't tell you that's the first time that that's happened, it's not. But um, I think it kind of brought us all a little closer together again because we kind of slipped off just doing our own thing um, when we were like doing a lot more together, having Sunday dinner and things like that. But it really brought us back together on what's, what's important because it's not just her, we have her younger brother, we have her older stepbrother and her, you know, Lindsay's new baby. Um, and all of us, we have all our well-being to think about. So it made us think about how we can have a fresh start as well. I would have to say I liked the sessions with Dr. Douglas. I liked hearing about the things that she had, the tasks that she would have her do. And I don't know if it was just purely Dr. Douglas's ideas or if Sharon took part her caseworker, her making lists and thinking of concrete things, tangible things that she can just kind of say, okay, this is what I want to happen. This is what I'm going to do, you know, making, um, making sure we understood what she wanted after she got out. That had to have been like, it was just a realization like, oh, wow, you know, this is really happening. This is something that we have to listen to my 16 year old and we have to make sure that, you know, we get off our asses, so to speak and get things done for her because it's not just about us, it's about her and it's about the family um, entire. Um, so I think that, that that was a good thing. That was a good thing for all of us and um, the sessions were just powerful. And I gotta tell you this morning in parent sessions, being with the parents was extremely powerful. So that's, that's kind of a close second, hearing about testimonials from the other families about what they've gone through and just 
you know, me busting into tears because it's so, just hearing about all the trauma, the tragedy, and knowing that all of us are connected by just one common thread, it's, it's really powerful. Very compelling to hear what we heard today and, and it lets you know that you're not alone. It lets you know that there are other families out there suffering, but there is victory. I'd want them to hear from the, from the kids themselves, um, you know, because I know as a parent the changes that I see. Maddie's, a, you know, she's a leader. She's in the summit, I guess you call the summit mm -hmm. program. And I've just noticed so much change in her since she's been in that program. And I've always known in my heart that she's just this leader, um, this, this, you know, she's just a born leader, but I don't think she ever really thought about being a leader. And now she just exudes, she's just so empowered now. And, um, you know, she can talk to people. It's like she has this, this way about her that I can see that she kind of gets to people. And um, I can see her talking to young girls or adolescents and making a difference. And I just, I, I, I'm just amazed. I'm amazed at that. I would want the parents to understand, you know, that this is, a, this is an amazing program. It's, it's changed my daughter in ways that I knew that she was capable of handling her um, depression and anxiety, but they just taught her things that maybe she, she just didn't know she knew. And um, I just see that she's become so much more uh, capable and she can handle things. And it's going to be interesting to see how well she does because we're going to be checking in every so often with you all. And um, it's going to be, I'm going to like to see where she goes with this because I know she's going to do great things. And it's going to be like the first time in her life that she's going to be able to enjoy her life and, and be happy. And we're going to make sure she stays happy.